Good morning and happy Friday, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for April 12th, 2019. So, my goodness, we have just had some of the crummiest price action this week. Um, market has really been in a doldrums. Lots of um, indecisive price action, lots of spinning top dojis, not much to really go on in the market. But this morning, we we seem to be shaking that off in a big way. First off, um, uh, last night there was a report from Wall Street Journal kind of lifting hopes of U.S.-China trade deal. Um, China had some um, trade surplus numbers that far exceeded expectation, and that, that seemed to affect Asian markets a little bit, kept them somewhat sub subdued, but really hasn't seemed to affect the U.S. markets. Uh, European markets this morning are bullish across the board, but they are also just a little bit um, subdued um, due to um, concerns over global growth. That may change with all of the warm and fuzzy feelings coming from the U.S. markets um, this morning. So we've got um, some really good uh, sentiment in the U.S. market this morning. We have um, a new deal between Chevron, uh, CVX. CVX um, is purchasing APC, and um, that deal um, looks to really have inspired the market uh, prior to the market open, actually, prior to even any of the bank earnings. That really inspired the, uh, the futures uh, a lot higher, a $33 billion deal. Also, kind of keep in mind that the market is pretty excited about the filing for the IPO of Uber. And that's got things uh, kind of wound up. And then also Disney's announcement of their streaming service. And you can see Disney gapping way up this morning on that announcement uh, of that coming out. So we're getting all kinds of warm and fuzzy feelings this morning, even beyond the, the bank earnings. Now, so far, uh, JP Morgan, JP Morgan has reported, and you can see JP Morgan beat on the top line. And I haven't seen any of the bottom line numbers yet. I assume the conference call is forthcoming. And remember, that can move the markets around considerably um, or change the price of the stock considerably during those conference calls. So expect a little bit of price volatility this morning. But if we take a look at the market um, as we as I record this right now, we're up 180 points on Dow futures. We're seeing um, S&P 500 futures up 15 points. The um, uh, NASDAQ is up 35 points. We're looking at a very, very bullish open this morning. Now, one of the things we want to be reminded of, um, we always hate this kind of thing right that we have to think about the price resistance above and gapping into that price resistance above we have seen many times we gap up and can't find the buyers up there and we end up selling off so be careful chasing this into the morning we want to make sure that we see some follow-through buying after the open remember we have price resistance above here and as we start pushing up toward these price resistance levels we're gonna to have to deal with those price highs so keep that in mind also keep in mind this is just the first day of earnings season um, we have um, a big um, group of earnings coming in next week so um, lots of movement can still uh, take place so you really haven't missed out on anything if you get caught up in that idea oh my gosh I'm missing out just remember you, you really haven't because there's going to be plenty of opportunity as earnings season continues to roll out so just be careful um, with not chasing also remember that sometimes one of the best things you, that you can do on current positions we get a big gap up open like this on a morning take some profits um, gaps are gifts take some of those profits go to the bank and, and slide into the weekend feeling really happy about the money that you've made this week let's take a look at um, the spy 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 getting that love this morning as well popping up here um, let's make note that we're popping right in let's draw a line across here we're popping right into some price resistance. You can see right here, 
price resistance and we're popping right up into that so we'll have to keep an eye on that price resistance in the chart and keep in mind there's um, it'll take some effort to push through there not that we can't do it but it'll take some effort so you'll want to watch that closely let's take a look at um, the Nasdaq the QQQ looking really positive this morning and I think the NASDAQ is going to make uh, these uh, this attack of new highs uh, at any time uh, the NASDAQ is being drawn up there there's just been no weakness here at all everyone's pushing hard on that tech se sector so let's watch but we're gapping up this morning substantially here in the NASDAQ and we're not that far away from these highs but let's keep in mind as we approach those highs we have to think about that as price resistance and that possibility that there may be bears up there lurking about let's take a look at iwm iwm has been lagging behind lagging behind lagging behind this morning it's going to gap up and it's going to gap up right into these price resistance levels right in here and we'll have to watch wait and see if it can actually power on through there with the uh, excitement of the market or whether or not it gets stalled right there. Keep in mind, there is still plenty of resistance above here in IWM that that stock is going, or that ETF is gonna have to deal with. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX should be very happy this morning and we should see the, the VIX moving lower, gapping down. And that puts us down here in these really low numbers. We could be seeing um, possibly 12 and even 11s here on 11 handles here on the VIX. And that always brings in that idea, that little bit of concern of complacency. Um, are we getting a little bit too complacent in the market? So we'll want to watch or keep an eye on the VIX. If we happen to catch, um, you know, this gap up and then we find sellers up there, we might want to watch that carefully to see um, if that starts to lift. So just keep an eye on the VIX. Nothing here yet of any kind of concern and perhaps there won't be at all if the market just follows through with the bullishness today. Let's take a look at T2122. That four week new high, new low ratio is a place where we're going to run into a little bit of trouble possibly. And that is because we are already up here pretty darn high in this bearish reversal zone. Now, that doesn't mean that we can't stay up here for a period of time, but just know that if we move up into here, we run that potential of just that short-term overbought condition. Doesn't necessarily mean we need to have some kind of a major sell-off, but that we may struggle as we push toward those price resistance levels up here and we're a little bit stretched in this indicator. Now keep in mind, we've seen a period, um, a very odd period, where we held up here much longer than I've ever seen before. And that could certainly be the case here again. Um, we just don't want to uh, ignore the fact that we're pushing some high numbers here um, in these charts. And remember, this is just the first day of earnings season. There's a lot of earnings yet to come. And the news is there's a fairly heavy concern out there um, that uh, some of these companies may not be able to uh, support current prices with um, their earnings. So we'll have to wait and see on that. But just, just make note of that. Um, and something we have to pay attention to. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar today. Our economic calendar not a big deal today. We do have Fed speaker here um, that uh, that's going to be speaking. He's been speaking all week, it seems like. But we have um, import export prices at 830 and consumer sentiment. Unless these come in really really good or really bad. I wouldn't expect them to move the market much. Everybody is going to be focused on these earnings this morning. So we're still waiting on some earnings reports. We're waiting on a WFC. WFC still, uh, well, wait a second. Maybe it has reported and I've missed it. WFC looking for a little gap up this morning here. WFC um, is reporting. We've got PNC Financial uh, reporting this morning, so we'll want to keep an eye out for those reports. 
and pay attention to those as we come in. Keep in mind that on Monday, we have Citibank, Bank of America, uh, those kind of companies reporting, and we could be right back here in this um, uncertainty mix if uh, those companies uh, don't perform well. So keep that in mind. Also, I think Goldman Sachs is also on Monday. So we're just ramping up into that earnings season and we need to pay attention to that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click that bell icon. When there's a little pop up that comes up, click that bell icon. That makes sure that you get notified every time I post a video. And I do post a video every single market day, assuming um, I don't have a power outage or internet problems I get this video out and the purpose of this video is just to help everyone do a, a, uh, a thorough uh, thinking about how to approach the market for the day so that you're not um, being subject to you know that fear of missing out or fear and greed and we, we take a look at the different things that we need to do um, um, and think about how we're going to approach the market for the day and there's you know, I, there's never an intention to make any money on these videos. You'll see that there's never any sales in these videos. The purpose is to truly help folks with their trading. So if you find it useful, please do me a favor. Also share this video on your Facebook feed or your Twitter feed, whatever social media outlet you have, but share this with friends and family that helps us in showing this video to more folks, helping more traders. Also remember, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. That is tremendously helpful in getting these videos shown to more folks. You guys are awesome and I do appreciate that. So with that, let's take a look at some charts that are really looking pretty darn good and could be setting up for upside moves. Take a look at some of the pay systems uh, stocks like uh, Visa. Now Visa had a pullback yesterday, but I would expect that's going to move sharply higher this morning or bounce up this morning. Visa has been in a nice trend looking really, really good and showing some signs of upside um, in these charts. We have really good price action uh, going on in um, many of the tech stocks. Take a look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA holding up very, very well. Nice price action here. It's pressing up against this resistance, but we need to watch this closely. Holding on in there, looking really good. Right way option members have made a, a a bunch of money on NVIDIA. We started buying down in here and we've had uh, more than one trade in this and we're watching this again for another entry into a position. Take a look at AMD. Um, just uh, uh, full disclosure here, I hold AMD right now. In fact, I have been a holder of AMD for some time. This is a longer term hold for me. Um, I've been in since over in here and um, holding this with a leap option as a matter of fact and you can see we're actually pr starting to put together a setup here for more upside coming in um, AMD so watching this nice trend here and a nice little pullback hold of trend and support we might get that pop through here today with all the bullishness in the market so keep an eye on stocks like that we also want to take a look at stocks like Microsoft Microsoft having a nice, a nice little consolidation in here. Now, Microsoft looking to gap up a little bit this morning. We'll watch that here closely. Microsoft is one of those companies that tends to rally toward earnings. So you might want to catch that prior to an earnings report and see if we can catch that little rally into earnings. Of course, that is really going to be subject to whether or not um, earnings continue to roll in. So kind of keep that in mind on these trades. We have really good charts in like um, Oracle. Oracle holding this nice price support here. We've gapped, um, or not gapped through, but we pushed through this important resistance as you can see here in the chart. And now we're consolidating that move right in here. I suspect we could be coming close to that place where we're gonna pop on this trade because we're moving, move, moving closer and closer to uh, this current trend. So watch that in here for that potential.
So there are a lot of stocks to pay attention to. There are a lot of trades out there looking very, very good that could be setting up. And um, things that you might want to pay attention to like um, 3M. This is a really pretty pattern on the daily, breaking through, pulling back, holding support. You can see a morning star type pattern forming formed here yesterday, and then we're looking to gap up this morning on 3M. So really nice price pattern here to pay attention to. And I'm seeing patterns like this all over the charts. Um, really good price patterns. Um, and if that bullishness continues to follow through with these earnings reports there may be some great upside potential here in some of these trades so watch them closely um, last but not least um, I picked up a position in um, Activision and Activision disappointed me yesterday with a uh, bearish engulfing candle coming into play but it looks like we might get a little relief might get a little bit of bounce on that still today um, with the positiveness uh, coming in the market so we'll keep an eye on that but I still like this pattern this setup um, I don't feel like there's any reason to cut this trade loose and uh, at all and so I'm gonna stick with that position so with that everyone hey I want to wish Wish you all the very very best day today and I want to wish you a fantastic weekend remember gaps are gifts the morning uh, we're getting this big gap in the morning it may be a great time to take some profits and then just kind of sit back a little bit watching that price action and let's see um, where we go from here make sure um, that um, you carefully uh, take a look at your current holdings as we move into the weekend. And remember, this is just the beginning of those second quarter earnings. We're likely to see a lot more gap up, gap down price action as those earnings continue to roll in. So consider that, carefully consider the risk you carry into the weekend, just knowing that we're likely to see another gap on Monday as we start rolling through more earnings reports. So with that, everyone, have an awesome weekend we'll take take um uh take care of yourselves i wish you all a fantastic day and we'll see you bright and early monday morning have a great one